We used to do the, this thing where we'd save up all of our pocket money and then we'd go down to Shelley's in um, Camden and we'd buy our platforms and we'd buy what we're going to wear. We used to save it up and then little by little we'd get our little outfits together. Um, and then once we got our outfit, we'd plan the night out. <laughs> And we went to the milk bar in um, uh, in Victoria, and and we were there. we were having literally the best night. I remember what I was wearing. I remember Lou bought these amazing platforms, and she was wearing little hot pants, um, and she's wearing her platforms. And we were just having the best time. It was a proper girls' night out. We were just happy we got past the bouncers to be there. So, you know, once you're in and you're past the bouncers, it's then just about having a good time. And we were having the best time dancing. And this guy comes up to her and he goes, oh, here, take my card. I'm a record producer. And we were like, oh, he's just trying to chat her up. And we didn't think anything of it and just went, okay, thank you. And then we were at school and, and in those days, it wasn't a mobile phone. It was a, you know, put the coin in the thingy and make a phone call box. And we had one. At, in our school but to enable us to get there we <laughs> sort of had this thing where if we ever needed to get out of class we would use Sophie um who wore contact lenses in those days if you wore contact lenses and you dropped one it was a major crisis so she was like she did this whole theatrics oh miss I've lost my contact lens and so there were people on the floor looking around for it under the tables and at that moment we just skedaddled out of class <laughs> And went and called this number. So we went upstairs while, the, while they're being all distracted, put the coin in and called the number. And and it actually said Polydor Records. And, and Lou was like, oh, I can't speak because I'm really young and they're going to think that I'm messing around. And so I spoke and I was like, oh, hi. Trying to be put my best grown up voice on. Oh, hi. Um, we just wanted to speak to Dennis Inglesby um, and I was trying to sound like really professional and probably said it all wrong. I was like, you know, he met us at a club. I mean, how awful does that sound? He met us at a club and said, you know, to give him a call and my friend Louise is here. And I was like, oh, this is so awkward. Anyway, thankfully he answered the, got on the phone, answered the phone. He was like, yeah, hi, yeah, I remember you. Um, I'd really love you to come down. And he's like, do you sing? She was like, yes. And then he invited her down for an audition. And he already had the girls about Esther and Bernie. He already had them at that time. And then she went down, she auditioned, and then um, she got in. And then he was like, oh, I need one other girl. And she was like, well, my friend, Kelly, you met her that night. She sings and she dances. And then I went down and then I auditioned. And then that was it. That was the band and we were formed. And then off we went. <laughs> 